Hey guys, welcome to the Tech for Road channel and welcome to nice and shiny Greece. Um, I'm spending a few days of vacation and because here the weather is really wonderful, um, I'll have the chance to make a feature video of the XS809W, the drone by Visuo, which we have reviewed a few days ago. Um, by the way, this video is recorded by the brand new SJ7 Star by SJ Cam. Lovely camera, so um, I think we're testing both products. Here we go. Oh, by the way, um, something which is fair to show you. Um, I already have a problem with this drone. Uh, I've already damaged the battery. Somehow the micro USB port got damaged. Well, not somehow, I just pressed it it cracked, uh, I had to figure something out and uh, look here, uh, I've, I've, actually, uh, I've actually soldered a XT30 connector um, and then yeah, it's, it's not too bad, it works fine, uh, maybe when I come back home uh, I'll just show you into more details what exactly has been done here, but that, that should do the work. Okay, it's the remote. Very conveniently, the package really gives you the chance to uh, do transportation of the drone here and there. So let's let's check it out. First thing which is notable, no takeoff and landing for the non-age version. So keep in mind, takeoff and landing wouldn't work if you don't have any um, barometer function. So the pure camera without altitude hold would not be able to take off automatically. That's a start. Um, now let me take my cell phone out. I got my battery going down, which still isn't too much of a trouble. Now I'm going to start the app XS80W. No, XSW is just the app. So here it is. Um, I need to fix my Wi Fi connection to the drone. Okay, back to the app play button and well that's the video right you can see that maybe can you check yes you can there is the video that's great all right it's already attached and it's recording to do now is to return the drone back and adjust the angle of the camera so I'm gonna use the home button let me see I'm gonna move it forward right and here it is the whoop so the drone is pretty far away right now let me let me use the home button feature and well it didn't really come back so let me bring it back Okay. All right, here is the drone, and I'll fix the camera angle. Okay, because I prefer to see the landscape a better, a little better. And again, time for flying. Everything is being recorded. Okay. And we're going up. Hey. 
and I've already lost visual by the way. Ah, there it is again. Right, I'll, I'll have to make another camera angle correction because <laughs> this one is not too great either. Now bringing the drone back. Well, it's, it's pretty stable, I've got to admit. Uh, surprisingly stable. And yeah, let me, let me fix that again. So the weird thing is that if I go beyond a few meters and the connection to my phone is getting worse. I don't really know if that's normal or not. Uh, there are not too many Wi-Fi's over here. Right, let's let's try and let's make a loop. Wow! See that? It's a good loop. And again. bad for this kind of flyer. So now I'm gonna go up. I believe the battery is going down, so let me go and recover it. Okay, um, it even feels great. No need to, re to bind it again. So I'm just gonna fly. Uh, the arm was folded a little bit. And ready to fly. I think. Yeah, no need to recalibrate. Well, that's been full throttle. Yeah, it, it lost it again. All right. I don't quite know why the drone does it, but when I'm full throttle, it just loses it sometimes. Um, okay, seems fine. You can see the drone pretty stable. Um, I, I can't say I, I got used to this weird, really weird um, headless mode over here because it, it it really doesn't capture the position of the drone. But still, uh, for for people who are beginners, uh, if, if you are fine with this kind of control, then um, you'll be pretty happy. Now the battery is going down, and I'll just bring the drone back. Yeah. There it is. Battery is over. Even if I try to put on the throttle, it's over. I can't say what's the total amount of time spent over here. Ah, uh, let me turn off the recording and hope that you enjoy the flight. Um, overall, um, I can say this drone is pretty stable. Uh, it, it shows pretty good qualities and when it is windy, um, it, it really behaves very well. Uh, as a disadvantage, I would point out that the headless mode is not perfectly integrated. 
uh, no altitude hold which means basically takeoff and landing the automatic takeoff and landing which are integrated into the uh, remote controller are just disabled other than that um, I really enjoy the fact it does not have any altitude hold because that lets you bring the drone very quickly down something you might struggle a little bit when you're uh, operating the uh, X5H versions or any other drone which is with uh, brushed motors and has the audio hold function. Well, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure to check out the other videos and talk to you soon.